In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving and merciful Father, we are grateful for all that you have done since last night till this morning. Lord, as we come before you to listen to your word, to deepen our self-awareness, and to seek to grow, we ask your spirit to be amongst us, to guide us, to open our inner eyes so that we may see the treasure that you have put in us. In knowing what you have given us, Lord, we may share it with our brethren. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Then of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good morning. Good morning How are you? How was your night? Wonderful. On a new bed. You must be lucky. I thought it takes time before you get used to the bed. Well, what makes a difference in life is the disposition we have. When we are prepared to receive something, we get it faster than expected. Na kwa kweli, wada nianze kwa kuwa shukuru. Aswa fiongozi wote, kwa machitorio yenu, kwa kikisha ya kwamba, tukwa hapa wengi na mnae. Hebu tuwape makofi. <laughs> Ongereni na uyo roo anaye waongoza katika kuyapanga mambo ya kimungu awasidishie kira neema mnayohitaji katika maisha yenu pili na washukuru kira mmoja wenu na familia zenu ni lazima kuwepo ushirikiano ndipo ukapata nafasi hii kufika hapa kuna wale ambao wamekusaidia kifedha kuna wale ambao wamekushauri uche kuna wale ambao umewaacha nyumbani wachunge poma ili uweze kuwa hapa na kadhalika kwa achiri yao tuwape pongezi kwa makofi kidogo basi na kwani hapa ya viongozi wa kitaifa kwa kukupari kuruhusu tuwepo hapa wakasema ni vema mpate kupata hii nafasi ya kuwa pamoja na kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu popote walipo wape makofi kwa hivyo kwa hayo yote nimeyasema yaonyeshe ya ya kwamba Mungu aliyaruhusu yafanyike ili mimi na wewe tuwepo mahali hapa kwa njia ya kipekee it's god who has allowed us to be here and i don't know what we are going to give god for creating this opportunity for the first time ever since that the third order comrades are meeting in this spiritual center because of the annual retreat and that's why i will not wish to take it for granted ya kwamba mungu anayatenda mambo makuu na mengi mno kwa hivyo kwa pamoja sasa na waalika tuweze kuwa na tafakari ya kindani saidi chana tumeanza kutafakari kuhusu yale ambayo yamefanyika katika maisha yetu. Vile tumesema ya kwamba tuna wakati maisha yetu yako sawa au tuko hali ambayo tuweza kuyatekeleza majukumu saidi ya matarachio au tunaweza tukayapanga ili siku zichazo tuweze kufanikiwa we need to invest now the first and the key investment is to invest in yourself 
We need reserve energy. We need to uh, affirm that when things go wrong, I'm able to stand. Wakati tulimaliza kuongea kuhusu wakati mzuri, tukaingia wakati mbaya. Na wakati mbaya tukasema nini? Au kumbe kiingereza iko rahisi kwenu? <laughs> to avoid head collision. Na hapo ndipo tuasema ni yapi ambayo tutajitahidi kuyaibuka katika ukijua ya kwamba mmekosana na mtu na ako katika hali mbaya si wewe wakati unaenda kumuomba msamaha inawezekana ni lazima utulie umpe wakati ili mtakapoketi mkiongea kuhusu lile chambo muweze kuelewana hadi ya tatu ambayo tuliangazia ni gani when we overcome challenges we need to learn to shed off yani wakati tumeyapitia magumu ni ishara ya kwamba tumeebuka nini bala basi ni wakati tutayaangalia yale ambayo tumeyafanya namna gani tumeyafanya ili siku zichazo tusuie ku ingia katika mtego kama ule we avoid some things because by good luck tumeebuka nini the problems hiyo ndio ya tatu you now that's where sacrifice comes in that's where we need to do what change our thinking na ya nne ilikuwa tulisema nini ya nne yes well great wakati ambapo tumeingiwa na paridi au na giza ni wakati ambao kila mmoja wetu atapenda na huo wakati tuwapaswa kufanya chambo ni lipi tunapaswa kulifanya we need to seek warmth tuwatafute ambao watakao tusaidia kujisikia tuko au kutafuta wala ambao watatuwezesha kuyaona yale ambayo tunapaswa kuyafanya na ndio maana nataka kuchukulia hapo sasa kwa sababu iwapo maisha ingekuwa vizuri yote yangekuwa salama nadhani ungekuwa unafikiria kukuja hapo Chana nimesoma all your expectations. Niwaambie siri. Kila mmoja alikuwa anaongea mambo ya shida. Mungu nataka aniepushie hii, nataka Mungu anipe hii, nataka sijui nini. Hakuna mtu alisema atajitoa. Atapeana. Look at that. Why was every expectation was from outside? What are the expectation? Matarachio. Mbona kila wakati sisi kama binadamu tuatarachia mambo yaliyo mbali na sisi au kutoka kwa watu wengine? What do you expect about yourself? Wachache waliongea kuhusu kukua katika imani. Wengine waliongea kutaka kuingia kwa shirika which is okay. But au kutuambia nini kipi unataka kutuletea wewe kama mgeni? Kama tungekuwa tunafanya biashara, utafanya na biashara mtu anakuja mikono mitupu. Condition ya kwanza ingekuwa nini? 
What are you bringing to the table? Now answer that question. What are you bringing to this retreat to be shared? Andika hilo swali. Ndio kesho nikikuuliza uhakikishe umeniambia ni kipi unachokileta katika mafungo haya ili tuweze kufaidi kwayo. What is it? Ndio maana tupadilishe mawazo yetu. Yasiwe vile kila mmoja anafikiria. Ndio, hiyo ni katika hali ya kawaida. Imagine ni kila mmoja wetu akitaka anataka kunyakua. Na hakuna mtu anataka kupeana. Tutamalizia wapi? Katika hali ya kawaida turejelee wakati uko kwa giza. Utakuwa unafikiria nini? Take time and think of one of the darkest moment of your life. What were you thinking about? And if you are proud enough and courageous enough you can tell us what you thought about. Wakati maisha iligeuka ikawa hayaeleweki au uoni mbele wala nyuma Ulifikiria nini? I hope naongea na watu. Na kama naongea na watu, ni swali nimeuliza ama ni chipu nimewapatia? Na kama nimeuliza swali, yani hivyo ndio mmekuja kwa hii retreat mkae tu, niulize maswali muniangalie. Aya basi. Cha wapo Wengi wetu wakati tumegonga mwamba mawazo yetu yanatuelekeza ni lazima tuendelee mbele. Tuakumbuka hata kwa barabara kuna U-turn. U-turn kwa madereva inamaanisha nini? U-turn inamaanisha rudi Venye umefanya nini? Kwa hivyo wakati mwingine tunapogonga mwamba ni kwa sababu we have missed the right turn. Chana nilipotea, wacha niwaambie. Nimetoka hapa kufika hapa. Wameweka sign post upande gani? Wa juu. Na kaaro kanaonyesha Sasa nilienda wapi? Because the signpost should be in the direction to the right place. It should be on this other side. So that even if this, that arrow is not there, obviously you will think that in life we are people who are like misplaced signposts. What is the work of the signpost? Arama sa barabarani sa paswa kutusaidia kutuerekeza ata tusipo uliza. Lakini ikanipoteza. Ndiyo sikuwa na umakini sana lakini maali likuwe imeekwa na kukakua na nchia pale Mafikira yangu yakaniongoza kuenda na wapi? The same thing when you are in dark moment or on a crossroad. On a crossroad you have three alternatives. Either to go straight, to turn left or right. How will you know where you are going if there is no sight? Kuna lile ambaro litatusaidia. You stop everything. Rudi pale uliansia. Uliza ulikuwa unaenda wapi? 
It's from the beginning we are able to trace the end. Wakati ulitoka kwa nyumba, ulikuwa unataka kuenda wapi? Wakati ulianza hii biashara, ulikuwa unataka ku? Wakati ulichiunga na wakameli, ulikuwa unataka nini? Kila wakati shida tu ni ishara ya kwamba kuna chambo limeenda nini? Murama ama kombo. Kwa sababu yote yangekuwa sawa, aungesimama. Ungekuwa unafanya nini? Ukiwa mlioana, mlikuwa mnapendana, kila siku mna keti mnaongea, mmefika hakuna mtu anaongeresha mwingine, nani atakuwa mbaya? Ni yule mwingine? Obvious ili sio wewe. Nani anaanza kunyosha vidore kwa mwingine? Ama nani anaanza kuona makosa ya mwingine? Leo hii nikiwa ndani ya shida. Can I know that I'm in a problem? Let me tell you. No. That's why we say it takes a wise person to lead a fool. Leo hii ningependa tufanye pamoja na nyinyi tafakari kuhusu tracing our dark moments. I want you to take one of the occasions that you you have felt that you were stuck we analyze it either in your relationships either in your job place in your faith in your personal growth chagua lile au ile sehemu ya maisha yako ungetaka kuangasia saidi katika mafungo haya ili kwa pamoja tusaidiane kuhakikisha Tuwaelewa ni kipi kilienda kombo. Na ndipo nawaambia kwa Kiingereza when we say a journey of a thousand steps it starts with one step. You have already made the first step to come here. Biru amua kufika hapa kwa shiri ya kuomba au kutafuta msaada ushaanza kutafakari chinzi utakavyoporesha maisha yako lakini kwa wakati mwingi maisha huwa na changamoto na sichawahi elewa mbona twaegemea saidi mawazo ambayo ayaleti maana au tunapokuwa na shida mbona tuwafutwa saidi kutafakari kuhusu au kufikiri kuhusu hiyo shida why do we reflect more on the problem than seeking alternatives why do you think that things have to be the way they should be and why don't you think that there may be another way of doing things okay when i always tell people to go back and reflect what may be the cause of their problem they think i don't like what they are telling me or i don't understand them wakati unaniambia kuhusu shida ya kwako swali nitakuuliza ni kipi kilifanyika what went wrong utakucha hapo uraramike una bwana kichwa kubwa nitakwambia kichwa kubwa kama ya kwako sababu umeiona ni kubwa venye ulipiga hiyo picha ukaiona mnatoshana can you see something you don't know no Unapoona mabaya kwa mwingine it's a sign that you are also weak. Oh yes. Unyonge wangu ni dirisho kwako ya kwamba na wewe una unyonge. 
maybe I'm reflecting back. Did you know that? And that's why I will always take you back to trace the cause of your problems. Now, I want to use this every time you go back. Venye ni mesema, ukipata U-turn, ni ishara ya kwamba, uenda umepotea. Si wakati ni piga huko ndani, iripiti ni fanya nini? Na ningesema sign post imeniambia ni kuerekea hapa. Iripiti ni kanda huko ndani, ni kauliza. Na hii, St. Patrick, iko pale. Ambia pana, iko pale kwa para. Na venye parabara hapo ndani karikuwa kabaya. Ni sawa tu. Nilikuwa na shuka gari na toa miti kwa njia. Ni ucheuli ama ni kutokuwa makini. Ninge muraumu mwenye aliweka hiyo sign post hapo. Inge nisaidia. Sinilisimama ni kaulizia. Binadamu sasa nierekeze. Ni marangapi unadharau mtu hapo njiani. Unaenda mbele unaenda ukifika pale unapata ndio ulikuwa unaenda kwake We need to change our way of thinking And the only thing that can make a difference in this life is to go back tutavute chanzo cha shida zetu Hakuna shida ambayo tumekumbana nayo that doesn't have the cause. Okay? And that's why I want to challenge you to accept to take time to go back to your life as far as you can wish and evaluate. Yera ambayo uliniandikia as your expectations. Where do you think you started losing it? Kama ni imani. Wakati ulipatizwa, ulikuwa unakosa kanisa? Eh? Kama wakati ndoa yenu ilikuwa na moto. Ni kipi mlikuwa mnachokifanya na sasa hivi amkifanya? Au are you? Wakati uliingia kwa hiyo poma, ulikuwa unakaribisha wageni namna gani? Na sasa hivi kwanza unaona wageni wakiingia na mzee unapiga kona unaingia jikoni ndio wakuite What happens? Ni kipi kipadilika? Ni wewe ama ni maono yako yalipadilika? Wakati ulikuwa unaangalia watu uko tayari kuwapenda kushikiana nao kuwapa mkono na sasa hivi kila mtu anakaa shetani We tu ndio unakuwa mtakatifu mtakatifu Teresa wa Afira asema hivi wakati alikuwa anaishi katika nyumba yake alikuwa anaona anaangalia masista anaona the devil in them Jesus Christ inawezekana unione ukaone upunguvu wangu ni kipi tunapaswa kukifanya? Eh? Ni kama ukiona nyumba imeshika moto. Kwa hiyo kitabu wakati wa, watoto wameigiza kuna mtoto mmoja alisema hivi. Eti nilifundishwa sio na nyanyangu ukiona nyumba ya chirani imeshika moto omba nini ifanye nini? Eti upepo iche. Na upepo ikicha Sasa ni wangapi ambao tumekuwa upepo katika shida za watu? Au mafuta? How many of us? When you see things go wrong. By the way, how many of us feel unajisikia tu? Yaani ndani yako kuna kale ka uchungu. Kana kaanga wapi? Kwa akili ama kwa Eh? Kwa roho. Nani alikaweka hapo? Hapana. <laughs> Kuna mambo mengine, waja niwaambie. Kuna mambo mengine tunamraumu shetani na shetani atakataa siku moja. Atasema, "Ah, hiyo sio mimi." 
Eh? Kuna mengine tumejitakia. Aswa mawaso mapaya. Kweli wangu? Nao, hebu ulisa jirani yako, ni kipi hiyo umechitakia alafu kaambia ni shetani alisababisha? Ni kipi umewahi fanya katika maisha yako ukamraumu shetani? There is what we call in, in English resentment. What is resentment? Ask that question in your notes. What is resentment? Siji kwa Kiswahili tutasema nini? Kama wewe ni Mswahili hebu tafsiri hilo. Resentment. Au kwa kiluya. Kwa kiluya resentment ni nini? Na sababu amtaki kuniambia na umesoma nitaendelea. Resentment is that feeling of being angry for some things. Yaani umekasirishwa na mambo. Au chui ni nini? Ukiangalia, you know, sio tu sio chuki. Wakati uchakupali mambo chinzi yalivyo. You have not accepted either yourself, your children, your family, the outcome of events in a way you are in denial. It's almost you regret for what has happened. It can also be a sign of displeasure of what has happened to you or an injury that you have received. Kuna mtu ambaye taisa kawa mekufanyia chamba ambaro ukufraisho na ayo. Umelipepa maisha ni mwako mote. Na sasa hivi maisha yako ya nadofika kwa sababu ya ayo mawazo. Kwa sababu unaizifibaya. Ilikuwa siku moja. Ilikuwa na rafiki yangu. Haka nikasirisha. Na nikasema sita chukua simu yake. Na kwa kweli siku chukua kwa amda. Na kila wakati nilikuwa naona kinipigia, kare kauchungu kanarudi. Ni kama, hame nikasirisha nini? Leo. Nika kitu, nika chiuliza. Na mbona naishi kama mfungwa? Mwenye hame nipigia, maybe alikuwa na nitakia mema au angeniambia kitu fulani mbona nao uchungu kila wakati i got to learn this kenneth tyer wrote an article on the 16th of october 2014 saying this now here is the connection to freedom we blame and resent people for the things which they are responsible. And we think people are responsible for what they freely do. So by looking at when blame and resentment are called for and when they are not, maybe we can learn about freedom. We resent when we think people, they are responsible of their mistakes. Lakini kuna watu wengine wanafanya vitu, hata wachielewe. They don't. Here, we are blaming them, yet they understand nothing. Wakati ambapo takuwa tunaenderea, kunungunika kwa yara ambayo yamefanyika katika maisha yetu tuwapoteza nafasi ya kuendelea kuishi fema au kutafuta mbinu zingine za kushughulikia changa hilo Robert 
N writes, wrote an article asking this question, why resentment lasts and how to defeat it. To psychologists, resentment over a long period of time can be an health response to injustice, sometimes an injustice that, is, that won't quit, such as a continual demeaning comment from a partner or from an reasonable demand of a boss just doesn't get it. Resentment, in this case, like this represents a development of one's anger from mild to deeper. Oh, yes. Unaza kukazirishwa leo na bosu wako kasini. Na uonyeshi, inaanza pole pole. Unaanza kuchukia kazi. Unaanza kuchelewa. Baadae, kama wei unapenda kama ni pombe, utaanza kunywa pombe. Ndi unasema nini? One for the road. Siku nyingine unasema? At the end of the week? Kama umekasirisho na bwa na nyumbani, Na wewe unaendanga kazi siku hiyo utaanza kuchipatia kazi nyingi ndio ufike nyumbani Na ukifika nyumbani late nani ameandaa chakula Msichana wa kazi Nani amepatia mzee chakula Nani amewekea mzee machi ya kuoga Na huyo mzee atakuwa wa nani Alafu naanza kulia. Where did the problem start? In simple terms, a problem starts with something very small. When you feel like you don't like something at a certain time, take serious caution. Stop everything to ever wait. Why did you feel bad? You will never ignore a bad feeling. Na vile utakapoanza kurekepisha kama upendi kitu ukipendi basi tafuta chinzi ya kukubari au to let go Don't think depression doesn't just come How does depression start Just with simple stress where does simple stress come from that bad feeling? Unakazirishwa tu na kitu kadogo. Unaanza kuchukia mtu. Unakosa kushirikiana. Na baadaye inakuwa nini? Umepepa msalapa ambao mngepepa wawiri. Utaweza. Look at like that one thing I want to thank you and I want to be grateful to God for the leaders of this place. You know, I wasn't troubled. Nilikuja tu nikaingia kwa room yangu, nikapiga usingizi hapo, nikasema watu watakucha. Full stop. The one we had in Nyaururu. Trust me. There are people who canceled even the morning and we had booked the means of transport. I had to pay from my pocket. Because we had already hired a matatu which they didn't travel. When people don't take their responsibility, somebody has to sacrifice. Kuna wale walikuwa amekusha kufika. Wanasema, Father, nani ya kwa hapi? Udaza kuwambia hachi? Gari ndio hiyo hapo. Udasema, sasa nenda mutakawatafta ingine? When you want things to take place, Ukitaka mambo yafanyike, ukitaka kukua katika maisha yako, you need to be ready to make the biggest sacrifice. If you want to see your family grow, 
The best sacrifice is not giving people things. It's just for us to listen to them. Why are they not doing what they are supposed to do? And how best can we help them do it? Our chizigani tukayo shirikiana na wao ili kwa pamoja tuweze kuyatekeleza yale machukumu. The moment unaona mtu hataki kushirikiana na wewe amerudi nyuma na ushuriki ushughuliki na yeye na kuahidi ya kwamba you will pay the price ignorance if you think education is expensive try ignorance if you do like now if you think that look the way you are seated if i don't take care of each and every one of you the weakest of you is the one who is going to mess us up but the moment i identify the weakest among us and they concentrate to empower that person the team will be strong kristo alisema nini si kuja kuachiri wale ambao we are to be christians because we want to be witnesses kwa unyonge wa mwanadamu kwa udhaifu wa wale ambao tunaishi na wao wakati tunanyenyekea kuwainua kuwashirikisha ndipo tafanikio we need to sacrifice to be there to stop everything and ask this question why did this happen how should it have happened what should i do to make it happen but ikiwa nyote wawili amuoni how can two primed men lead each other in your family who is primed nani aoni na na nani anaona and what do you see the price of resentment is relieving the past when you keep getting annoyed ama wakati unaendelea kuchukia watu maisha yako inakuwa ni ya samani you get stuck kwa sababu gani kila wakati chuki inapanda inakurudisha wapi did you, did you get what i said nilikasirishwa na rafiki na kila wakati nilikuwa nafikiria nini na yeye alifanyika lakini uchungu do you know some of us we have acute ulcers because of stress and do you know some of us we have spent a lot of money in hospitals because of failing to manage our stress i discovered in 2010 i used to have bad ulcers not ulcers really but stomach issues i went for two endoscopies and endoscopy is not something you would like and all were negative the second one the doctor looked at the results and said ulisema uko na shida gani there is no problem here did i believe it unajua kuna watu wengine tunaenda kwa daktari ni lazima daktari atuambie tuko na shida na wakati hatuna shida but kumbe shida ni hapa ugonjwa when i was told to take care of what i eat and my stress immediately i realized i used to be nilikuwa nakasirika unajua ile asira inafika wapi that almost paralyzed my life i almost left priesthood because of that i didn't know 
that's the time I, I tried to trace my stress or I didn't know that where I grew, especially when you are of 18 and you are a man, you are not supposed to be told what to do by anyone. Yet information, you have to be told what to do. So it's either you listen or you quit. So what do you think I chose? Na ningetaka kuwa mwanaume? Wanaume kwa hivyo mimi si mwanaume. Katika maisha tunapogonga ukuta ngumi tuwaumiza nini? Sometimes when we get into problems it's not that problems are there to be solved. Some problems are going to be there forever. By the way, if you are there to change either your spouse, your children, you will suffer forever. For, I always tell people, I want to live in a manner, you look at my life, you admire it. And when you admire it, you will change your life. That's it. Staki kuangaika ya kwamba, Ukae kama mimi no we kama kaa kama unataka kukaa but i want to live my you know if if you think that that person ndio akona kichwa ngumu na wewe uko na kichwa kidogo mbona unaangaisha na mambo yake sio ukuwe na kichwa kidogo lakini moyo mkubwa wa kupenda na kwa kukupali let people be people i tell you the only freedom we seek is not to blame and resent is to let people be people. Can you read that? The only freedom au uhuru ambao tutakao upokea katika maisha yetu sio kutoa rawama ila ni kuacha yote au kuyakubali yote yatendeke vile yatakavyo. But acceptance is the key of any personal growth acceptance There is no way you can fight especially you know look at this I've done uh, now a little bit of mentorship for some time and one thing I have realized hata ukwe malaika you cannot change a human person I can only inspire you. Look at what Christ did. Peter alimwendea. Bwana, mara ngapi nitamsamee? Ndugu yangu anaye nikosea. Peter alikuwa anataka aambiwe mara sapa akikataa ajana na yeye. Kristo alimwambia nini? Check Matthew chapter 18. First 21. Ni kipi ndugu yangu anaye nikasirisha? Kristu mtasoma baadaye, mtasoma baadaye. Akamwambia umsamee ndugu yako. Mara ngapi? Saba mara? Hiyo ni mara ngapi? In other words Seven is a complete number. You forgive eternally. Yaani kama kuna neema ambayo utaomba leo hii uende nayo nyumbani. You forgive everyone. Achana kuangaika na mambo mengi. If you forgive everyone who has hurted you in your life. Don't tell me about your family tree problem. Don't tell me still you are a cast. Who cast you? you cast yourself let every forgive i didn't say you forget kwa tayari yoyote anayekufanyia kosa kwa sababu ya upendo forgive them for they don't know what they are doing stefano alisema nini E hey, bwana pokea roho yangu na usiwehesabie haya hawa wa watch 
Stephen was the first matter. Na leo tunasherekea nini? Holy innocence. And now ask this question. Am I can I belong to the holy innocence? No, no, no. I, I ask, ask the question in your notes, Nora. Don't ask me or tell me. Can you be among the holy innocent? Can you, be, can you allow yourself to be innocent? You know, look at this. Maangaiko ya toka wapi lakini? What causes maangaiko ya kira siku katika maisha yako? Mbono utaniangalia tu uone sifai au mbona utanisikiliza tu useme we pika makelele uende zako the first disconnection we have between human being is the heart when your heart is not for me even if you try what hakuna chenye nitafanya nikufurahishe na hakuna chenye utaangalia kwa maisha yangu kikupendeze when you have taken your heart out of me. Kristo alisema nini? Penda jirani yako? Penda jirani yako? Do you know some of us we don't love ourselves? Do you know some of us we don't Do you know tell me what value do you give yourself? Kila wakati you just have like what do i call it you think that someone else is better than you ama ungetaka kuishi kama jirani kama mimi nilikuja na gari hapa wacha niwaambie nilifika hapa venye nimetoka ichinja kwa hiyo road block hiyo askari afu ani akanisimamisha alafu akaangalia gari yangu Unajua mimi nawekaanga vitu mpaka kiti ya mbele. So wakati aliangalia akasema, "Mbona unapoweka peke yako hapa? Siuniambie nikutafutie mtu, msafiri na yeye." Kwani aliona nini? A miserable young man. And what do you think angenitafutia? Why, why are we so ready to solve people's problem in a negative way? Nilimwambia kakangu, mi padri, unitafutie nini? Au nani? Aliniambia nenda padri. <laughs> the same thing by the way it happened when I was coming from Nairobi. My car was parked. Again, wakanisimamisha around Narok. I had hii wimbo wa Maria inacheza hapo. Nikamwangalia tu hivi. Akasema wewe ni padri. Because hata kiti ya mbele kikaa vitu, si anajua mimi sina watoto na nini? Ningekuwa ningekuwa na watoto natoka Nairobi unakuja kesha gi. Si watoto wangekuwa mpaka kuabut. So watoto wangu walikuwa nini? Akaniambia leta Christmas, nikatoa hiyo magazini moja nikamwambia soma hii. Akaniambia nenda padri. Why are we disturbed? because we don't know who we are unaangaika kwa sababu hujachikubali and the first thing you would do to accept yourself is your own mistakes do you know your weaknesses do you know where your weaknesses are uko na asira kubwa ama kidogo kama mimi angarau i when i knew my weakness kuwa na asira it's, I think that was what made me to become a good listener. Because somebody listened to me, I can hear you are stupid. You are stupid. Because of listening to people and wanting to be like people. I love what my mother said. Padri umeamka salama. Na kutakia safari njema. Wow. Wow. Just a symbol. Lakini mambo mengine unafikiria ukiwa unafikiria fikiria yanakufanya unakonda. Mimi sio nakaa na mwili mdogo hivi sababu niko na stress. Hapana. I just what to eat, how to eat. I don't just eat to finish food. Now, what are you 
working for that is not necessary in your life? What are you... You know, we are talented differently. Na mbaka upate kuhundua, ni kipi mungu wa mekiweka ndani yako, you will never live to be fulfilled. The only way to reach fulfillment is when you will know yourself. Is when you will know yourself. So turn to your neighbor, ask this question. How many times have you failed to accept yourself? Talk to each other and you, one will talk at a time. How many times have you been a good neighbor and a bad one? Are you answering my question? Do you think you are a good neighbor? Now, a simple question I want you, as you are going to take tea, you look at it. Tell me, do you think people will look at your life and get inspired? <laughs>